This happened in 2006. My son and I would travel around America for his cooking competitions. He was 15 at the time. This next competition was held in Ohio. I decided to save some money by driving us there instead of going by plane. I'd driven for a good six hours, and then we looked for a hotel for the night before having to drive another few hours to the competition in the morning. The hotel we chose was the Marriott, which was a fairly new build. We got into our room, and my son said he felt a weird vibe in the bathroom and just avoided it as much as possible. As usual, I chill out, watch some TV until I fall asleep, and my son was already sleeping. After a bit, I turn off the TV. Sleep is calling my name. Suddenly I hear her rustle of those fresh, crisp sheets. Then I hear it again. It was like a whoosh sound. It must be my son pulling them, I thought to myself. I'm laying on my bed, his bed on my left. I hear a louder whoosh. So I look to see what he's doing when I hear the whoosh straight between our beds. Then, in the middle of our beds is my son standing with the sheets covering his head. Taken aback, I quickly realize it's too tall to be my son. It then drops to the floor very quickly with a loud swoosh, rippling as it landed. I was majorly freaked out. I sat up trembling, scared, confused. I quickly turned on the light, and Ryan is still sleeping in his bed. Needing more light, I turn on the TV, and it stayed on all night. I eventually calmed down, but stayed awake for a very long time, my eyes constantly looking about the room. I finally fell asleep when, a feeling of something sitting down on my bed woke me up. I didn't want to, but had to see if it was Ryan, but to my astonishment nobody was there. I was awake now, but eventually drifted off after. In the morning, before my alarm went off, I was woken up by the feeling of a presence leering over me. I froze and opened my eyes. Nothing was there. Finally, it was time to go. We headed down for breakfast and my son said that he'd barely slept last night because I kept on sitting on his bed. What, that happened to Ryan as well? That's when I tell him about the whoosh sounds in the sheets as well as them moving. I told you, Mum. I had a bad vibe in that room, especially the bathroom, was his response. He told me that as he walked in, he could feel a presence, as though someone had died in that bathroom by taking their own life and that's why he would avoid it as much as he could. I asked the clerk if there were any reports of haunting from other guests that had stayed there and she said, I'll just go and check with the manager, then disappeared into the back. We waited about 10 minutes, but we never saw her again. It was the strangest experience we'd ever had in a hotel and we always checked